The United National Congress is claiming there have been several irregularities during the recount process for the St. Joseph constituency. The party's candidate, retired Lieutenant Colonel Alloy Hunt, called an emergency media conference outside of the office of the retaining officer in St. Joseph this morning. Sunilala has more in this report. We were able to examine each ballot, and each ballot showed the initials, big variations in the initials. What should be CE? was CC, CL. The claim of the UNC's candidate for St. Joseph, Aloy Hunt, who says he discovered at least 171 irregularities in the recount process from just one polling station. Mr. Hunt says he was alerted by his election agent on Wednesday night of several discrepancies on ballot papers and sought to oversee the process himself. He claims over 300 ballots were inspected from one polling station, which had numerous variations of initials from the presiding officer or deputy presiding officer. In one instance, Mr. Hunt says the vote was counted for a particular party, despite the initial being absent from the ballot paper. A ballot was counted with no initial yesterday for the PNM. And how is that possible? On Wednesday, the UNC's candidate sent this legal letter to the EBC requesting access to the respective polling station diaries after claiming that he was not allowed by the returning officer to inspect it. Mr. Hunt says he again had to get his lawyer involved after the returning officer on Thursday morning insisted on a different process of recounting the ballots similar to what is done on election night when the ballots are held up. Due to this, he says he has been unable to verify the validity of each ballot. Right now, I have my lawyer inside there trying to get back to the original process from last night, which they denied us because we found out or we discovered 171 irregularities in one, one polling station. Meanwhile, Mr. Hunt's brother, former PNM Minister Gary Hunt, who is part of the UNC St. Joseph Campaign Committee, denies that the party is attempting to hold back the process. Plus, we have a legal letter here that we had to write to be able to see the, the, the diaries for the uh, persons and who voted without no ID cards. Well, well uh, we are being denied this. This is our constitutional office. rights are being subverted and we don't feel that this is fair and we just want clarity. The EBC's preliminary figures has the UNC candidate receiving 8,543 votes while the PNM's candidate received 9,354, a difference of 811 votes. When contacted for a response to the UNC's claims, the PNM's successful St. Joseph candidate Terence Dialsing said he would leave the matter in the hands of the EBC. Sonolala, TTT News.